In this video, we're going to show you how to remove your ECU. Step one, disconnect your negative battery terminal. Be sure to tuck it out of the way so that it does not come into contact with the battery. Step two, remove your lower kick panel. Not every vehicle is equipped with one of these. Step three, find a comfortable position to work under the dash. This may take some time. Now this is what it will look like once you are underneath. So to explain the process more effectively, we're going to show you the rest of the removal with outside examples. Step four, disconnect the harness from the ECU. This will differ depending on your engine. For the DE vehicles, press the small clip to unlock the release lever. Swing the lever all the way open and disconnect the harness. For the HR and VHR vehicles, you will have three individual connectors instead of one large connector. The first connector is for the dash harness, so it is not used in this example. Starting with the connector closest to the passenger seat, remove them one at a time. There is a small clip that must be pressed to unlock the release levers for each connector. Once released, swing the lever all the way until the connector is freed. Once the harness is disconnected, there are two 10mm bolts mounting the ECU. One is located here towards the dash. The other is mounted here on the firewall. Once the ECU is out of the vehicle, remove the three 10 millimeter nuts to release the ECU from the bracket before shipping it to Z1. 